Hey guys, welcome back to JJ Vlogs and Videos, and today we are going to be doing a bit of a different video. As you can tell from what I'm showing you right now, I have a bunch of small animal little um, things here, and that is because today we are going to be doing a small animal haul. It's a kind of a very small one, but at least it's something, um, because a, a lot of you know if you go to my school that I'm getting a small animal. For Christmas and if some of you don't then now you know um so I might be getting a small animal for Christmas so I figured I would go ahead and well I know I am but I figured I would go ahead and get some toys um for whichever one I get I will be getting a dwarf hamster which comes in like Chinese hamster winter white hamster um robo hamster and I'm missing one I can't think of it right now but Oh, so I'll be getting a dwarf hamster, Syrian hamster, or um, guinea pig. So as you can see, there's about two things in this haul that are especially made for guinea pigs because I'm originally hoping to get a guinea pig, but um, if not, I will give the two things to my friend's guinea pig if I end up getting a hamster. So let's just hop straight into the haul. So I will literally go in order on what I literally actually got, like first, second, last... The first thing that I literally got was the crispy, crunchy, fun-to-eat tropical carnival foraging treats. They're with vitamins and minerals. They're hoops with honey treats. They're a very berry flavor. It's a lot to read. Um, but these these little fruit loops, and I put them in the little storage container because I was starting a storage over there. As you can see, it's all out right now, but that little cabinet is my storage thing for now. If I get a guinea pig, I cannot store it. Or I cannot keep it here and store all its stuff here. But if I get a hamster, I can. So Because my stepdad is allergic. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> so, um, if I can get my camera to focus, it says right here, hamsters and gerbils up to two per day. Guinea pigs, rabbits, and chinchillas up to four per day. Finally, my hamster... Uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting so mixed up. Finally, my phone focuses. It's a miracle. My phone never focuses. Anyway, but, um, anyway, but that's what that is. And so I figured that I would get that because it was really cheap. It was like $1.99 because a bunch of the stuff was on clearance. So if you guys are interested in getting a bunch of stuff for your guinea pigs and other small animals, um, for clearance and like cheap stuff, go to PetSmart because they actually have a good deal right now. And guinea pigs are 20% off. I know that's not much. They're like $31.99 when they're 20% off. But at least it's something. Whatever. Alright. The second thing I got were these Vita Craft Triple Baked Crunch Sticks. They're with popped grains and honey. They're guinea pig treats. There's two sticks in here. And there's just these little kebabs that have popped grains and honey on them. They're from VitaCraft, and the, that's a really good brand. So I figured I would get these. And it has a little cute guinea pig on the front. So, yeah. Now the next thing I got was... I just remembered this is actually the first thing I got. But that was like the second and third thing I got. So, sorry, I got mixed up. So let's just go back to the first thing I got. So, you guys probably, if you have small animals, you probably noticed this. It's the National Geographic Chew Toy Pack. It comes with a loofah disc. I call it a loofah tire because it looks like loofah. Uh, the loofah looks like a tire. But, I got that. And I got these two little wooden balls in the pack. Some of these you can hang up, but these you can't because they have a hole in them. Well, they have a hole in them, but that doesn't go all the way through. So, that didn't make any sense, but... Yeah. This one you can string up because the hole goes all the way through, but it's just this little log chew. And, um... Just a bunch of little natural stuff. Right here is, like, this thing, but it's covered in, like, hay and sticks and stuff. To make it kind of easier for the guinea pig or hamster to chew. The only thing you guys can probably notice, the only thing I'm worried about, is this glue right here. I might not let my hamster or guinea pig chew on this, because as you can see right here, guys, and on the other side, 
There is glue all in this, and I'm just afraid if my guinea pig or hamster notices it, they'll chew it, and they'll get, like, really sick. So I might not use this. This is the only thing that's really scared me that National Geographic has made. So I wouldn't suggest, if yours has glue on it, I wouldn't suggest giving it to your small animal because, as you can see, it's all up in there. So National Geographic kind of messed up on that part. But other than that, it's pretty good. And then this is just a little ball made out of just these different sticks. They're really movable. So kind of easier for them to kind of move around. But it just, a lot of the stuff just, chew toys are just made to kind of trim down their teeth because their teeth are constantly growing. So yeah, I got that little package of small toys that I need to move over to the side. Um, I'm just going to stop going in order now. The next thing that I got was this little sh um, rainbow block string. And I was thinking about just hanging this up on the guinea pig's cage somewhere just as a cute little hanger thing. Um, because I thought it was really cute, and maybe if I do, like, a rainbow cage theme, that this would be perfect for it. So, I got that. It's got little squares, and, or not squares, <laughs> triangles and circles. So, yeah, I'm getting all mixed up. And next, I got this little, um, I think it's made out of like hay and sticks and stuff. It's this little, um, ball, and it has a little jingly belt with it. My friend's rabbit has one of these, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick this up. This is one of the things that I mentioned that's pretty much only for guinea pigs or rabbits. I wouldn't suggest giving this to a hamster. Syrians are a bit bigger, so they might play with this, but I wouldn't suggest giving it to them. Just because anything could happen, and because I don't think they'd like it very much. Because rabbits and guinea pigs are kind of more sociable animals, so I think they'd like this better than any hamster would. And then you're probably wondering, you can't use this for hamsters or guinea pigs. I'm not going to. These, yes, they are top fin mini aquarium plants for fish. But I got these, because if you guys didn't know, some of you from my school might know, but I have a turtle. And his name is Mikey. I got him from the mountains. And he was in the small little, little bin, pretty much. Like, it wasn't a bin, but it was like a plastic little container that was like, like almost... Not even the size of this. It was a bit smaller. And so, um, I felt so bad for him. So we went and got him a bigger cage. I will do a video on Mikey soon. Do not worry. Um, I'll do a video on like how to clean out his cage and stuff safely. But this is a top fin mini aquarium plant. I got this one. And I got this one. And they're only 119 Like I said, a bunch of stuff on sale and for clearance. So yeah. By the way, if you're, um, looking to get like a, kind of a cheaper guinea pig they have 20 percent off guinea pigs right now so um that puts them at like 31.99 so they're they're still a lot but not as much as they originally are so that's what that is so that's all the stuff that i got and i'll quickly show you guys mikey so let's go Where'd you go, Mikey? He's knocked his plants down again. There you are. Say hi to the camera, Mikey. Say hi. <laughs> but yeah, that's all the stuff that I got. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!